Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a thrifting video. Uh, I think I hit a couple thrift stores in this one. We'll see in a second. But some interesting looking uh, Stan Smiths right here. Look like some golf ball tongues on this one. I think I've seen this one at the thrift already. Uh, kind of a look, looks like a golf ball shoe. Uh, $25 on that one. But uh, kind of some random stuff as I usually run into some fun stuff here and there. Some uh, Addy Star boosts. I am not familiar with this. The Addy Star one. Uh, but uh, $35 in pretty good shape considering these are women's shoe. I definitely stroll through the women's side as well as the men's. Sometimes they mislabel them and put the, the women's or the men's shoe in the women's section. So sometimes it's fun uh, checking them out. And I think these ones are the Air Revolutions or something. Check out the soles. It's pretty much the Air Jordan 4 sole uh, on these. And it kind of has that, that um, what is it, Safari print on them. And then um, some interesting looking regular like waffle, not waffles, like Cortez's or something like that for... $18 uh, on those ones and then some more Air Maxes uh, I think the 2013 or 14s the soles are fundamentally the same but they're a little bit uh, different the uppers are and then some solar softs again uh, I think this was with for, was from the Rio pack or something maybe $45 though for a solar soft used beat up like that is uh -uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that at all and then these they had these there again I showed these before which is kind of a cool looking model uh, for women and then uh, some just random ASICs that I ended up seeing here and there. And then look at the the, the back area of the gel. Look kind of interesting. Uh, these ones are pretty pretty decent shape uh, for the most part for $12. I was like, dang. Rika, a brand I'm not familiar with at all. But these ones were like brand new. Um, and they look like they're in really good shape for uh, $18. Not bad. I mean, if you think about it, you could just get like some brand new shoes at, at the thrift for like under $20 depending uh, just some sometimes it might not be the brand new one and there's always a black shell toe sometimes it's the same one sometimes it's a different one uh, but i swear there's always a black one this is the same one that had the dog doo-doo on it from the last time apparently nobody bought it and wanted to clean those guys up they also had these uh lebron tens as well which is one that i want they had some pure boosts or no excuse me some rocket boosts there as well and the rocket boosts are really comfortable also uh, if you guys haven't tried those on same as kind of the pure boost and uh 18 on those pretty pretty good price uh, my size too, but uh, I didn't end up buying them. And then uh, and there's, you can see the insoles worn down a little bit on those ones. Um, some random Air Max uh, ones, as you can see, really look at like they're pretty much brand new. Uh, but um, but I ended up not getting those things. Size eight, thirty dollars for the price point. And then some uh, free 4.0s or 5.0s. I always see the 4.0 or 5.0s um, at the thrifts as well usually. And then always kind of an off. Uh, Jordan, are these like the Flight 45s uh, on these? Possibly, I I believe so. As you can see, the sole looks like an Air Jordan. Uh, other models, like I think the threes or the fours. And then they have these uh, D Wades, and I swear I find like a thousand different versions of D Wades at at the thrifts as well. It's kind of funny. And then these guys are the same as I've seen in the past. It's kind of some random street ball shoes from Adidas, and this cool gray patent colorway. Of those these look kind of like skunks um like the sb skunks in a sense look like really nice materials as you can see on them uh for whatever it's worth but 30 dollars on the price tag uh, on those i didn't didn't end up picking them up these i don't even know why i grabbed these they're really really heavy uh work boots for 45 dollars i was like man 45 dollars a lot of money and then you can see i think those are the lillards right there or the walls i, I believe one or the other they had like uh both of them kind of when they were not signature shoes, but it was kind of like a PE sort of thing. I think those were them. And then um, these, they always kind of have a pair of those. Unfortunately, they didn't retro them very effectively. Kind of interesting looking leather on these. They're super beat up looking, but kind of fun at the same time. And then uh, you can see some uh, some other randomness here. Um, some muskas that they ended up having. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting kind of print on the tongue. It looks fairly generic if you ask me. Some Under Armors, uh, Micro somethings, and look at the cut on the back. It's super weird. Very, very interesting cut and really, really interesting um, green, like, I don't know, clear green soles on them. Some Adidas print uh, camos on these, and they're, and I like that Adidas logo on the tongue. Actually, it's pretty, pretty clean, and $40 on those. Can't go wrong with a pair of Spider-Man Vans uh, with the webbing on the toes. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I like that Vans get some sort of stuff like that, and you can see $18 um, as is, shoe is as is. And then uh, these with zips on the side, I'm uh, not really sure what those ones were. Steve Madden's, oh my gosh, 
fancy that. And then look at these. They had some uh, some fun Air Jordan t-shirts. They look vintage, but I don't think they are. Um, this is an uh, Air Jordan uh, Wings logo tee. And then the Just Do It, and then you can see it has the large tag still on it. So it's pretty pretty new. Uh, $10 on those. And then on that one, and then check this one out as well. Just kind of the Air Jordan like 7 look. And then the Hair Air 7. So kind of fun that they ended up having a bunch of those things. Uh, Miami Heat. Look at the Miami Heat logo on that hat. It's so big. And then the Jaguars uh, hat as well. The, the Fitted, I believe that one was. Kind of a wild print. Look at the wild print on that one. And then you have the Hawks as well so just some random hats i was just looking at i was like oh that's kind of fun that's some B the bhm um jordan hat there and then some uh some I, those those hoodies used to be the, the business back in the day uh, not the hoodies but the the jackets the north face denali's um interesting looking converse these things were really really beefy looking and um i don't even know what the i mean they look straight up military style almost almost bulky enough to be a snowboard boot but uh kind of have a nice looking suede on them uh, but you could see kind of what they say they are right there. Genuine leather upper. Uh, some uh, some cleats, as you can see here. Kind of interesting pattern on the back. And the Nike logo. Looks a little crooked, actually. It's kind of funny. And then just some random other goodies that uh, I ran into. Some uh, some random Nikes. And I think these ones were pretty heavy as well. Uh, then they had some LeBron uh, 9s, uh, which is a pretty nice model. It's definitely one that uh, doesn't get enough love. And I don't know which one these ones are. Starter. <laughs> Starter has its own uh, shoe out. Yeah, Starter jackets back in the day used to be dope too. And it seems like they're making a comeback a little bit. But uh, nothing like they were, I don't think, when I was like in high school and whatnot. So random Nikes for $15. And then they had these crazy high top cleats uh, from Under Armour. Look at the soles on them. They're pretty rad. They look like a, a skeleton foot, which is kind of fun uh, on the Under Armour ones. And then... The man-made upper, it says, something like that. And then another pair of Air Maxes in kind of a Fireberry sort of colorway. And there's a fuzzy uh, Air Max bubble picture for you. Uh, and you can see it says Air Max on the back again. And uh, some beat-up Air Force Ones, white on white or white on yellow now. They look pretty old. And some random Reeboks uh, Kinetic Fits. Look at these. It's funny that the Hex Ride, all the different technologies that, that, that people try to um, come up with. Check out these Avia Slides. Um... I don't know. I, Avias are dope to me. Back in the day, I used to have a pair uh, with the cantilever and the the arc on them and stuff, and they were basketball shoes because uh, Clyde Drexler wore them and stuff, so they were dope. And then some random uh, gold uh, Nike uh, cleats, as you can see right here. It says 90 in the middle. Kind of interesting. But that's pretty much all we have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.